Pride Heats here for the Boys 400. That changes things up just a little bit here. The Heat winner automatically moves on to the next four fastest times are going to advance. So the Heat winner being paramount here. And Heat one, Nick Mays of Lucerna. Uh, Aslan of uh, Lisa Miguel in three. Trevor Plot of the Quinta, he's your Desert Empire League champion. Leroy Crook, Long Beach Wilson, he was your more elite champ, number five in the southern section, number 10 in California, he'll be in lane five. From Downey, Alessandro Guerrieta, uh, San Gabriel Valley League champ, made in Houston of Los Alamitos in seven, and Sebastian Galvin of Cajon in eight. Kirk with a seasonal best of 48.90. He's in the all white in the middle of the track there. Plot of the Quinta on his inside. And now matching Crook's surge there. And he got a, a downy. Downey continues to stay right there in Crook's shadow. And right now, a young man from Wilson, Plot of Laquita, trying to close it down. But this is your junior from Long Beach, Wilson, and he'll be moving on to next week there, Leroy Crook. 48.73, so a new seasonal best there from the junior from Wilson. Two, Galindo Abani in three. Adam Salen, San Juan Hills, qualifying under a wild card entry here in lane four. Camden Patterson, he is number eight in the southern section, your South Coast League champ, and established a new school record last week on the same track from El Toro of 4901. So El Toro Patterson in lane five. Isaac Lewis, 10th grader from Long Beach Wilson. Long Beach Wilson qualifying three here to the CIF prelims. Scrivano Thomas from Santiago in lane seven. He's got 50.29 this season. And Frederick Watkins of Elsinore in eight. Who is currently your number five sophomore in California. And he'll be in lane six. So in the middle track there, Salem, Patterson, and Lewis. Lewis now moving on and making up a stagger there on Scrifano. Oh. And you're inside there, Salem of San Juan Hills. And right now is Lewis, who's on 49.80. And now closing in, that's Patterson. And Lewis, a 10th grader from Wilson. Girls, 100 meters, last call, please. Girls, 100 meters, report to the clerk, last call. So 49.39, that's going to move Lewis up even further up on that state meet list there. 49.39 for the sophomore. He'll qualify automatically on the next week. Again, only five, five automatic qualifiers here, only four at-large qualifiers. So keeping track of that second place time there is going to be really important in qualifying. 49-39, the winner there in Heat 2. And Heat 3 here, De La Centennial, uh, Centennial of Highland in 2, Salon of Roosevelt in 3, Carson Bowers in Newport Harbor, he was your Sunset Wave League champion. And lane 5, Philip Jefferson, and they could pull off a really tough Double here, he's doing the 400 and the 300 hurdles. He's gone 49-29, actually he's gone faster than that. He's number one in the southern section, number five in California, he'll be in lane five. 
To start our Canuck Conrad sent a myriad of Mesa, he was our Southwestern League champ, 49.4 season wide in lane six. Out of sin of Burbank at seven, Simone Lacombe of Westlake in eight, and Laton of Bell Gardens in nine. DJ Jefferson here of Long Beach Wilson. Again, he's also a very well accomplished 154, 800 meter runner. On his outside, Conrad sent up Miriam Mesa trying to keep him close. Great battle here for second place, but right now, Long Beach Wilson, three for three. Once again, athletes should be reporting to the clerk, ready to run, no sweats. Leave them in the stands. And 48-38 will improve upon his number one mark in the southern section, moving up to number four in California. So Jefferson, and it gives you a little insight on why Long Beach Wilson is the number one team in California there for the 4x4, as they just went three for three in these first three sections of the boys 400. So five, five boys under 50 here for the first three sections, even in the section of four. Benjamin Foothill and two Coates, the baseline league champion from Upland. He's gone under 50 this season. He'll be in lane three. So for the uh, Valencia in lane four. Johnson, the Marmani League champion, 49.49, he'll be in lane five. Tyler Navala, the Seaview runner up from Tesoro. He'll be in lane six. Dylan Barrelone of Miriam Mesa in seven. Raymond of Santa Monica in eight. And Mejia of Ontario in nine. So three boys have gone under 50 this season in this heat. That being Coates, Johnson, and Navarro. Eight four, automatic winner qualifies right now. Navala of Tesoro, Johnson of Westlake getting after it. as we've seen all day long right now. It's anybody's race, Johnson of Westlake, Coates of Upland, and Navala of Tesoro. And Navala of Tesoro. And that'll be a new seasonal best for the senior from Tesoro, 49.38 on the victory. Final sections here. Cobb of Loyola in lane three. Quinn Edich of Arcadia, your Pacific League champ, also a very strong 800 meter runner, will be in lane four. Patrick Effiam, the Big Eight League champ from Roosevelt, 49.51, will be in lane five. Randy Cruz, your Foothill League runner up from Saugus, is on 49.35, will be in six. Jack Sapia of Burbank will be in seven. Serpiker of Beckman will be in eight, and Sanchez of Anaheim in nine. No lane five there, so it leaves it a little more wide open for that automatic qualifier to go after this. And right now it is Brandon Cruz of Saugus getting after it early on here.
All right now we got a battle here. Cruz, the saga, Sabia Burbank. And only one spot. Forty-nine point eight six. There, we'll see who uh, got the nod according to the camera. Forty-nine point eighty six, though, that will be the qualifying time to move on. <laughs> and a young man from Burbank going to take over the victory there. Forty-nine eighty six with Cruz at forty-nine ninety. 